हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रूप कथा वेलकम टू चिंता यूट्यूब चैनल आई वाज ब्राउजिंग थ्रू द इनमो प्रॉब्लम्स एंड आई फाउंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन फॉर दैट वी हैव शोमिक विद अस लेट्स इनवाइट हिम नाउ वी हैव शोमिक विद अस ही इज वन ऑफ द फैकल्टीज एट चिंता हेलो ओके एंड लेट्स सी द प्रॉब्लम टुगेदर श्योर this is the problem and i was trying to solve this but i'm getting some problems okay can you please help me sure but uh, frankly speaking this problem looks very ugly to me Actually. it it involves lots of not notations uh, so i don't want that let us understand the problem with its diagram first so we start with a regular pentagon do you know what is a regular pentagon it is a five sided figure which has five equal sides fantastic also the internal angles are equal okay so this is a pentagon what we do we take the midpoints of each sides and we join them okay so this is the figure we will get okay. what is it it is yeah. another regular pentagon right, right? right. Uh, i think it will be like intuitively it is very easy to understand but you can try to prove this as well okay. so we repeat this step we join the midpoints again and we get another pentagon which is definitely a regular pentagon okay. and we keep on doing this another pentagon we will keep on doing this till we get 11 pentagons so we have 11 pentagons how many vertices and edges are there i think 55 vertices and 55 Absolutely. sides there will be 55 vertices and 55 edges right? right correct so now uh, they have said to color the vertices with red and blue colors there are two colors given so we need to color all the 55 vertices with red and blue colors okay right. so what we need to prove now our goal is to prove that within this diagram there should be a cyclic quadrilateral having all of the four vertices of same color it can either be red or can be blue okay uh, tell me what is cyclic quadrilateral sure i was just coming to that but i want to make this problem a little simpler we have a goal always in this kind of problem we try to reduce our goal so i'll do that okay. and uh, while i i was i'll be doing that i'll just explain what is a cyclic quadrilateral okay so to make this problem simpler um we need to understand what is a cyclic quadrilateral so cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral where all of the four vertices will lie on a circle okay okay but there are some specific properties of a cyclic quadrilateral which is like the if you see the opposite angles their sum has to be 180 degree okay, okay. the opposite pair of the angles will sum up to 180 degree that is one of the properties of cyclic quadrilateral Uh, and there are some specific type of quadrilaterals which are always cyclic can you think of an example a rectangle a rectangle yeah, yeah. all the four vertices all the angles are 90 degree right yeah. so if i just take two opposite angles and if i sum it up it will give me 180 degree so as a square okay right. so uh, there is another type of uh, cyclic quadrilateral which is like very important to us for this problem okay. which is a isosceles trapezium okay so okay. you you definitely know what is a trapezium right, right. so when it is isosceles uh, it is isosceles in a trapezium we have two parallel sides and two non parallel sides right okay but the thing is the non parallel sides can be unequal also but if it is equal then it is called an isosceles trapezium and it can be very easily proved that isosceles trapeziums are always cyclic okay okay so maybe uh, you guys can also try to prove this that isosceles trapeziums are cyclic okay so if you look at the diagram mm. can you see that lots of sides the edges of the pentagons are parallel right, right. you can find lots of parallel edges here right. notice that if you join any two parallel edges like this you get a isosceles trapezium right doesn't right. it like this also you get another isosceles trapezium right so we have lots of isosceles trapeziums mm. here they are all cyclic right mm. so what do we need to do we need to prove that one of this will have all the four vertices of same color right yes so our goal is now to find only two parallel sides okay. and having like same uh, ending points same colored ending points so that our goal is now reduced so i want you guys at this point uh, to pause the video and give this problem a try so look at the diagram again we'll notice that the parallel sides we were talking about they are actually distributed in some different directions like right. this right. there are five directions in fact okay and all of the parallel sides belongs to 
one of this direction. If you pick any one side from the figure, that will definitely belong to one of these directions, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a very uh, like uh, key concept for this problem, key observation for this problem. Okay. So and like if you pick any two side from one of the directions, let's say for D one, you will find that those two sides are parallel. This is the vice versa concept, right? Mm -hmm. So we wish to show that there are two sides which belongs to the same direction and they have same colored endpoints, right? Now here is the thing, the concept that we are going to apply. This is where we apply the concept for the first time. It is called pigeonhole principle. So okay. let me first describe briefly what is pigeonhole principle. It is a very simple concept actually. It says that if you have, let's say, n plus one objects, okay, or like we say pigeons uh, and the number of holes or number of boxes to distribute those objects is less than n plus 1, let's say n, then at least one of the box will have two or more than that objects in it. Right. right. So we'll apply the general principle here. Okay. So we start with one pentagon. It has five vertices, right? right. So I have two colors. I have to color these five vertices with these two colors, red or blue. So if I try to do that, what do you think we can say by the general principle? Okay, there must be at least three same colored points. Exactly. So anyhow I color it, at least three points of same color, three vertices of same color will be there, right? Right. Now, my uh, goal is not to color any two adjacent vertices with the same color. So let's say I start with coloring the first vertex red. Okay. Then I color the next one blue because I don't want uh, two red colors to be adjacent, right? Right. So I'll take the next vertex red. The next one should be blue. Now the last point which is remaining, uh, whether I color it with red or blue does not matter. There will be at least one side which has both the endpoints same color, right? Right. So let's say I color it red and this side here is like having both the endpoints red color. I call it a good side. So what we understood that one pentagon should have at least one good side, right? Exactly. And how many pentagons were there? Eleven. Eleven, right? So in those 11 pentagons, there will be at least 11 good sides. Right. Okay. Now let's go back to the previous concept. Okay. We found that, that we observed that there were five directions, right? And that sides were distributed on this, uh, these five directions. So these 11 good sides, they are also distributed in these right. five directions, right. right? So again, we'll be applying PHP here. Okay. There are, think this 11 good sides are 11 pigeons for us. And there are five directions. So these are our holes. Okay. okay. So if I want to distribute those 11 pigeons in five holes, what I can do? The base I can do is I can keep two pigeons at each hole. Right. right. But still there will be one uh, pigeon remaining. I have to put it in one of the holes. Exactly. Right. So there will be at least one hole which will contain three, three or least. more than that hmm. uh, pigeons. Right. So that means at least three good sides will belong to one of these directions. What does that mean? Three good sides. They belong to one direction. They have to be. They have. They have to be parallel, right? Right. Now again, you notice that the good sides are of two different types because exactly. uh, a good side can have two red, red points, points endpoints, right. or two blue endpoints. Okay. So this is the first type. Let's call it blue blue good type uh, good sides and red red good sides. Okay. Now three good sides are one in in one direction, right? Then. At least two of them, again we are applying the pigeon principle here. Exactly. So this is the third time we are applying it. Mm. So at least two of the good sides will be of same kind, either blue, blue or red. 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 Okay. Mm. So what we found, we are almost to the end of the problem. Exactly. I think you can understand now. Yes. So let's say if it is like there are two uh, red, red good sides, these two are parallel and we join them, we get we our isosceles right. right? right. And that's what we were, we were looking for, right? Exactly. So we got our required uh, cyclic coordinate and that solves the problem. Okay, so I think you have understood the problem now. Yes, I have understood. Okay, so I have to go. I have some classes to take. I Hopefully, I'll be seeing you and you guys in upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shomik. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the video helpful, please do like and share. And for more such videos, subscribe to Chinta's YouTube channel. And to know more about our Math Olympiad programs, you can visit chinta.com. Thank you.